Councilwoman Letitia A. Tish James is an American lawyer and serves on the committees for Economic Development, Parks and Recreation, Small Business and Technology and Government, Veterans Affairs, and Women's Issues. I've already run a marathon on that. During her law career, James served as a public defender for the Legal Aid Society and represented countless young individuals in the criminal justice system. She established the Urban Network, a coalition of African-American professional organizations aimed at providing scholarships for our young people. Please join us in honoring New York City Councilwoman Letitia Tish James. And the presenter is the Honorable Philippe Laliot, Consul General of France. Just would like to tell you a few words, uh, mesdames et messieurs, in French. I'll start in French and, and then in English. Uh, mesdames et messieurs, chers amis, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, it is a, um, a great honor and, and a great pleasure for me to participate in this honoring event. I just arrived in New York and took over my post six weeks ago. Uh, and I'm very pleased to, to be with you tonight. And I uh, would like to, to thank, of course, Words of Bounce for having uh, invited me to this very important event. As others uh, have already said before me, I think it is uh, the duty of the younger generations, my generations, and the generations coming after me uh, to carry the torch of the memory and to bear witness to the events all uh, our honorees uh, survived so that the memory of this suffering never fades. And this is the essential mission of Words of Bounds. This is a duty for all of us. The duty we have is never to, to never forget. The, the duty we have is to, to see the past as a lesson for the future. And I'd like to tell you that um, this is also a responsibility um, uh, that, that, France, that, that for France is very, very important for very obvious reason. France will never forget the Holocaust and France will never forget slavery. Uh, in 1995, France recognized its responsibility and it was very painful at that time in the persecution and deportation of Jews in the Second World War. France is also committed to remembering the painful legacy of slavery, and it was also very, very painful for us. And to this extent, on May 10, 2001, too late, I think, France declared slavery and the slave trade as crimes against humanity. Uh, the mission of words of bonds, that slavery and the Holocaust are two atrocities that must be taught to youth so that they never happen again, is a mission that is shared by France also. Uh, I would like, by concluding, to congratulate all the people here tonight for the important work they do in educating the future generations about the horrors and mistakes of the past. And beyond the sadness and the suffering, uh, there, lies, there lies a story of hope here. Uh, when I look out at the youth in the audience, the ones that just sang, and other at the entrance of the room tonight. Uh, I see the future. I see a generation of children who will promote the rights of all humanity. And it is thanks to the courage of those we honor tonight that this future is possible. And starting with you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me just ask you to please join me in a round of applause to Mrs. Leticia James and to all of our honorees tonight. Thank you very much. First, um, to the gentleman who just introduced me, I want to, on behalf of our country, thank your country. I read recently an article about your ongoing commitment to human rights. There's a community of refugees and individuals who live in France and the French have taken a, a position of not to deport them back to their country, respecting the human rights of, and the dignity of all people. And so on behalf of these United States, I thank you. Um, someone once read or wrote that um, Saturday and Sunday is the most segregated days in any given week. 
And I want to report on this Sunday. On this Sunday, we all come together, blacks and whites, Jews and Gentiles, to break bread and sing songs of peace. And we have turned Madison Square Garden into a, a place of hope and faith. And so to Mr. Tingling, I thank you for doing that. And we should do that often, not only in Manhattan, but in each and every borough, so that we never repeat the atrocities of our history, and that we all stand together as one human family to speak loud and often against hate. I'm reminded as I read the newspaper today that we need to stand strong against the elected official in Louisiana who refused to marry an interracial couple. I'm reminded today that hate still abides with us when we heard about a sportscaster on the Upper East Side who said some derogatory remarks about Jewish women. I'm reminded that we still have hate amongst us. As I saw the gentleman who was in the hospital bed who was attacked because he was an immigrant in Queens. And the other young gentleman also in Queens who was attacked because he was gay. Hate is still with us, but the best way that we can deal with hate as a community is to rise up and confront it with love at each and every turn. And so I reaffirm my commitment to doing that as an elected official and as an honorary Jew, as someone who represents the Crown Heights community, the Orthodox community. I proudly represent them. And whenever there's an act of hate in Crown Heights or against any Jew, I will stand with my brothers and with all responsible people and people of good conscience to speak truth to those who believe in ignorance. And also, I'm reminded of when I was a teacher for a day at a school where I taught 25 Jewish young men about uh, civics. And it was a debate at the time that President Barack Obama was running against Hillary Clinton. And as someone who was a friend of Hillary and who supported Hillary, I was outnumbered in the class because everyone in the class supported Barack Obama. All 25 of those young boys wanted to know why did I not embrace change. <laughs> I'll always remember that day where they argued me and they debated the merits of electing President Barack Obama into office. And as a member of Project CARE in Crown Heights, we hope that we could avert the riots of 1991, again, standing together strong, a coalition of consciousness, people of love, people of dignity, so that, again, it never happens again. Thank you, and God bless you. Uh, before you leave, and for the sake of brevity, we're not going to mention this for all the awardees tonight, but there is a stack of lumber here for you uh, from uh, all the trees. All the trees, right? I thought this was supposed to be a green ceremony. Uh, uh, Congressman uh, Ed Towns. Thank you. These are all proclamations. Um, uh, Brooklyn Borough President Marty Markowitz. Uh, and uh, of course, the uh, Borough of the Bronx, uh, Borough President Ruben Diaz. Yay. And of course, right here in the Borough of Manhattan, Scott Stringer. Yay, thank you. Congratulations.